Piers Morgan has offered a rare insight into why Donald Trump had such love for Queen Elizabeth II, as she reminded the former U.S. president of his late mother. Former U.S. President Donald Trump felt unbridled joy when he met Queen Elizabeth II in person, according to Piers Morgan, a though he's no fan of Prince Harry, whom he feels will be left on his own. The 77-year-old is said to still vividly recall watching the Queen's coronation with his mum Mary Ann. Aged just six years old, and his love for her has seemingly not diminished in the decades since. Piers has now revealed that when Trump met the Queen in person, had told the monarch that Mary Ann was her biggest fan. For sheer unbridled joy, I've never seen anything to quite match Donald Trump's beaming face when he returned to Air Force One after meeting Queen Elizabeth II for the first time, at Windsor Castle, Piers shared in the sun. He continued that he'd been waiting to interview Trump on the U.S. presidential plane when he disclosed his passion for the royal. Bowled over by his massive grin, he added that he bellowed ecstatically, telling him, Piers, your queen is fantastic. Trump went on to say that it was an honor to finally meet her, praising her energy and elegance, before declaring that she was sharp and smart. Keen to find a reason for his extraordinary enthusiasm. Piers asked what went through his mind when he walked towards her for the first time. He replied, I was thinking about my mother. My mother passed away a while ago and she was a tremendous fan of the Queen. I said to her, you know, my mother was your big fan. She was born in Stornoway in the Hebrides. And that's very serious Scotland, there's no doubt about that. Trump also captured his memories of his mum's royalist tendencies in his best-selling book, Art of the Deal. He explained. She was just enthralled by the pomp and circumstance, the whole idea of royalty and glamour. Meanwhile, Trump has taken Prince Harry's negative comments about the royal family seriously, warning that if he regains control of the White House, the former working royal will be on his own. Talking at the Conservative Political Action Conference in Washington, D.C., he slammed President Biden for being too gracious towards Harry, whom he claimed is a treacherous little weasel.